Hey, what's going on everyone? How are you doing? Matt Antonelli here. So today we're looking at, uh, I want to look a little bit more at Barrel Path. I want to look at um, what the knob of the bat is doing. And so I've gotten a couple of questions on this. And so this is a, um, this is Sammy Reynolds here of uh, Washington. This is a tough pitch. This ball is thrown, you know, well, that's, a, that's not a very good line, but you can see where it is. Um, ball's thrown basically right on the inner part of the plate. She gets a hard line drive to right field right here. And so I want to talk about, again, the knob of the bat and the barrel of the bat. You know, we talk a lot when we're talking with our hitters about controlling the knob and, you know, getting the knob to turn up through the ball. I talk a lot about how the barrel is going to follow the knob. So if the knob goes down through the ball, the barrel is going to go down through the ball. If the knob turns up, it's a little hard to draw up from this angle, but if the knob turns up, the barrel will turn up. And so what the knob of the bat does, right, if we just watch right here. So you can see the knob of the bat right at the top of the screen. So the knob, obviously it's starting you know, it's starting really, really high. If you just get into your stance, knobs up around, almost around your, your shoulder level. And so the knob is going to start down, right? So the knob starts to work down here. But here's the key, is that the knob starts to work down as your bottom half is turning, but also your palm, your left palm is starting to get palm up, right? So bottom half turns, left palm of your hand is starting to get palm up, the knob is going to start to work down, but then you can notice now it starts to work up, right? So it's, you know, a lot of people talk about swing down, swing down, swing down. Here's the thing. The knob does start down. It has to start down. It can't just go up from here. It's, it's at your shoulders. If it just goes up, it's going to get up above your head. So the knob is going to start down, but the knob has to then turn up. Right, and so she's right here, you can see she's getting into a palm up, palm down position right here. The bat is still lagged behind her. Right, so like from right here, this is where the knob starts to go up. Right, put the dot there. Starting to go up. Well, I'm also moving the camera, so I guess it doesn't really help putting the dot there. And you can see how when the knob starts to turn up, the barrel gets turned behind it. Now the barrel is going to work slightly up. So the barrel right here, this is the key. The barrel's working slightly up. Not way up, but slightly up. And now I'm able to impact this ball squarely. My barrel is behind the ball. That is the key. So with a lot of young hitters that struggle, what I see is that the barrel doesn't get behind the ball. It it goes it starts down and then it keeps going down. It hits the ball, it keeps going down and then it comes up. The swing looks a lot more like a check mark. Right? And so I'm not going to impact that ball squarely if I'm that steep on the ball. If I'm down to the ball, down through the ball, it's going to be really hard to impact the ball squarely. I'm going to get a lot of mishit balls, a lot of clipped balls where, you know, if I hit the top of the ball, I'm going to smash the ball into the ground. If I hit the bottom of the ball, I'm going the ball's going to go up because I'm coming in at such a sharp steep angle. The ball's coming like this, I want to turn my barrel behind it, that's how I impact it squarely. That's how I put the full force of the bat into the ball. And that's how I get good ball flight. Like if I can get my barrel turned behind the ball right here, that's directly behind the ball, well, I'm going to hit this ball, you know, if I square it up, if I hit the ball someplace in the middle part of the ball, I'm going to hit a line drive. Now I can still hit a ground ball and I can still hit a fly ball, obviously. If I hit the top part of the ball too much, I'm going to hit a ground ball. Hit the bottom part of the ball too much, I'm going to hit a fly ball. But my chances of impacting it more squarely is has got to go up. Right? These two things are going to run into each other eventually. These two things right here, they might run into each other, but... I have to be really precise, right? Because 
again here, if we just keep moving, eventually, bang, we hit. But here, if I'm late, that ball's past my point where I can intersect it, right? That little intersection point is really, really tiny. You've got this little tiny spot to intersect. Now again, here and here, well, these are going to intersect at some at some point along this, right? Your, your hitting window becomes much, much bigger. And again, it's not just about timing, but it's also about ball flight as well. So I just thought this was a cool clip to kind of see what her path is doing, getting behind the ball, right? We're always talking about get your barrel behind the ball. And people get nervous. Some people, some people are like, what? Barrel behind the ball? No, no, no. I was taught to swing down. And again, swinging down, you have to be careful with swinging down. Swinging down, yeah, the knob can start down, but it's got to turn up. Swinging down is not swing down to the ball and down through the ball. That's that's no-no swing down. That's bad swing down. So if you've got a coach that really understands a swing and they, they preach swing down so that you start the knob down, right? But they also talk about how you've got to then, you know, and you've got to be able to turn your barrel behind the ball. So really the swing is starts down, then starts to work up. It's not down to down. You know, it's also not up to up. It's not up to up. If, if your knob immediately, you know, again, it's hard to draw it here, but if your knob immediately starts going up, well, then you're going to work up through the ball too much. So it's it's down, slightly down, starts down, starts to turn up, gets the barrel behind the ball. So that's all we got today. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.